It's our privilege today to introduce to you um, a couple families who have desired to be members here and we're so thankful that they're here. Um, I see the Bessies are here. Do you guys want to stand up? Uh, here they are. Turn around, wave. Okay, Joe and Rebecca, Alex and Kate. Let's give them a hand. Okay. And you have your speeches all prepared. Just stay standing. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, are Heather and Ryan here, Hanson? Did they make it today? No, you guys got to stand up. I'm sorry. I'm not going to embarrass you, I promise. But we're going to give you a, a blessing of thankfulness. And in ancient Israel, the way they used to give a blessing is they'd hold out a hand like this. So everybody hold out your arm and point them to the Bessies here as we give them this blessing. Gracious God, we thank you for the Bessie family, for the privilege of them joining us in our mission to serve Jesus. We ask, Lord, that you would bless them, and we look forward to all the gifts that they have to share with us. We pray these things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Father, our Savior, and our Redeemer. Amen. We have a little gift for you. You want to run that back to him? It's not much, but you know it's a token of our appreciation, and uh, you're welcome. And let's give them again one more big hand. Okay, one other thing today, we're doing an affirmation of faith. It's not the Nicene or the Apostles' Creed, it's an affirmation. And so we're going to try it today, and I ask you to join me in our affirmation of faith. I believe in the God of promise, the God of Abraham and Sarah, Rebecca and Isaac, Jacob and Rachel, the God of the past, the God of the present, the God of the future. I believe in Jesus Christ, God in flesh, God who seeks us out, God who has come to serve, God who embraces outcasts, God who reigns from a cross, God who overcomes death. I believe in the Holy Spirit, God with us forever, God giving us faith, God empowering us to serve, God filling us with peace. I believe in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious Lord God, we pray this morning for peace. Peace in our homes, peace in our cities peace in our country. We pray for the people of El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio, who are mourning the death of their loved ones this morning. Grant us your peace, O Lord, Lord in your mercy. Gracious Lord God, we pray for our obsession with things that we think give us pleasure, but take us away from those who matter those who matter the most, and you. Lord, lead us toward doing your will and living for your abundance in our lives. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gracious God, we pray for the people of Christ the King. We pray for all our new members and members who have been here for over 60 years. Those who seek your guidance, comfort, and hope. Uphold those who are struggling today. 
with disease, with cancer, with depression, anxiety, and stress. For you are our hope and our salvation, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Gracious Lord God, we pray for all those whom we love who have died, who are now resting in your care. Comfort us and lift us up as we continue on our journey here on earth, we pray, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. And gracious Lord God, for all these things and many more, we offer them to you, and we lift up our own personal petitions of prayer in this moment of silence. Lord, in your mercy. It is into your hands, O Lord, that we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us receive our morning thank offering, and we have a special music today.
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and he gave it to his disciples and said, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup and he gave thanks and he gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. table of our Lord is now set. You are all, you are all invited to share in the sacrament of Holy Communion. We will have two stations up front. We have wine and gluten-free bread available. Please come forward at the direction of your ushers. Thank you. 